Hi, my name is Michaela Ulmer. I'm 16 years old and a junior in high school. And then I also got stung by two bees in one week. I was terrified of the bees after that. But I ended up doing some research, especially because of my parents encouraging me to do it. And I learned that bees are important pollinators, which means that the food that we eat depends on bees going from flower to flower to flower. And then I also learned that the bees are dying at an alarming rate and just due to a mixed variety of reasons. And so I decided, okay, whatever I'm gonna do, I wanted to help save the bees. It was our first experience on national television. So um, I would for sure say that the exposure increased of my business and we started getting companies and other journalists and restaurants and cafes contacting us to see if they could either support or sell the product. ended up making a saying that said, ask for help when you need it because there's always help back at the hive. There's always people who are willing to support in your journey and supporting your mission. And for me, this was asking how in the world do you bottle a lemonade? How do you turn a lemonade stand into an actual product? How do you make a pitch? How do you make a budget? I didn't know any of these things. And so by the time um, where I realized that I should probably ask people for help, even if it's not my parents, it could be teachers or friends or other entrepreneurs, local entrepreneurs in Austin, I learned that there's a lot of valuable information that can that I can learn and then continue to help other people. So ask for help when you need it and continue to ask questions. Curiosity is really important. The reason why saving the bees is important, not only because the human food supply relies on it, like nuts, fruits, veggies, squash, chocolate, coffee, but also because many other species rely on the bees for their food as well. Um, and I think a great example of this is ice cream. While ice cream is important to us, ice cream is dairy. Dairy is made by cows. Cows eat a plant called alfalfa and bees pollinate that plant called alfalfa. So you can just see the chain of the impact that bees make on us, on cows, on chickens, etc. There are so many ways that we as kids can impact the environment, but a few that I would say are more innovative, and I have a couple. The first one is to spark the conversations that you're learning at school, that you're learning online with your parents, because you really wanna, you really wanna bring it home. And if you start these conversations with your friends and your parents and your teachers, it shows that the problem is not so far away. It's actually pretty close and it impacts all of us. The second one that I would say is if you have the ability to support eco-friendly or social businesses. A social company is a company that does good in the world, that, but also is a company. And so one example is Me and the Bees. We create good tasting lemonade, but we also help save the bees at the same time. And then the last one, which I think is the most fun, is to start something. A lot of people think you have to wait till you grow up. They say, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Or uh, what change do you wanna do when you grow up? And we don't realize that we can do it now. I started when I was four and a half saving the bees. So there's for sure no age limit to making a change.